Okay, so I recently changed what I was going to do. Um, I was going to be having a girl character, but um, I chose to have a boy character. Um, the hair is really long right now. Like, this would come down to about my shoulders. Um, because uh, you don't want it to be too short. Uh, you'll want it to be pretty long. Some of the hair is coming out, sorry. Uh, you'll want it to be pretty long while you're making it. Um, because it's it's just a really more of a it, what if I changed my mind thing. Uh, you'll think, oh, I want this hairstyle. If you're just making a random wig, and then once you're done with it, you're like, oh, I think this looks more like this character or this thing that I want, and you'll change your mind. Um, I don't know what type of hairstyle I'm gonna have it. It's not for any particular cosplay. It's just. Um, it's just a guy's wig. Uh, I don't know what it's going to end up being, but it's, for now, it's just a wig. Um, there are two colors in the hair right now. They're really similar. You probably can't really tell the difference. One's a brown and more, one's more of a black. Um, again, if you are making a shorter wig, you can cut off the hair. Um, this is originally how long it was. It went down pretty far. It had this much extra hair on it. So, again, it, I cut most of it off because it wasn't necessary to have all that on there if I'm making a boy. Um, it makes it a lot cheaper, too, if you just cut it off right when you do it. Um, again, you'll need a hot glue gun. I'm going to spread it with a brush. Um, scissors. I would have a doll and a sharp pair. Uh, the Sharpie to mark where the parts of the head are. Probably some hairspray. Um, maybe another brush. A wig cap or something like that. Um, a hair gel. I didn't, I don't think I put this in the last one. When you actually style the wig, you will need hairspray and hair gel and things. Um, also, like a razor or an X-Acto knife. Uh, this is... Pretty much an exacto knife. I don't really know what it's actually called, but it like it's used to trim the hair, but not cut it like so it's not exactly straight. Um, this got to be glued. You'll need that any style, but not exactly got to be. It's not like the perfect thing or whatever. More hairspray. Um, probably a pick or something just for. I don't know, whatever you would need it for. Um, and that's probably it. I, I would recommend having one of these, one that isn't completely and utterly messed up. Um, I got this stuck to a curling iron or something and the bristles burnt off and then they broke off because they were all burnt and stuck together. Um, this is for when you have like spikes or something, you could just like barely rub it through the hair and you wouldn't really mess up the spike. It's more for just like patting it down. You use a side, which would probably be easier because it's like soft and you could just rub it straight down instead of actually brushing it. Um, I know it's really hard to see because the wig is so dark. But yeah, um, I'm hopefully going to finish it so I can actually show you guys how, how to finish it. Um, Again, this isn't like the right or wrong way to make a wig. It's just a way to make a wig. Uh, Alright, let's get started. Okay, so you should have more than one layer um, of the hair. Go up until you would think there would be a part or something in the hair. Um, I have little splotches of the hair done because I was showing my friend how to do it. Who wants to cosplay? Um, but uh, you would still need more than one layer. I think I have four, four layers. Yeah, like somewhere around four layers um, so far, and the hair is really thick. So um, I would, I'm probably gonna end up doing a little bit thinner layers. Um, but you know, if you wanted thick hair, you would still do that. Another thing is make sure you have something on your floor because the hair does go everywhere, and a vacuum cleaner does not always pick it up. I have something on my bed too. I just have a blanket down so that it doesn't get all over my sheets. Um, the 
You'd need like something that you can get glue on and stuff too for the, like the table or whatever you're using. So if you don't have crabby tables like me and you actually want to keep them all nice, I would recommend putting down something that won't like burn through, like uh, some cardboard or something, something that you don't really need, something that it doesn't matter if it gets burnt or glued or messed up or something. Um, so, in the first video, I showed you how to glue it down, and now I'm just going to go up further, and I'm going to do a side part in the hair, somewhere, like, around here, like, somewhere off the middle of the hair. Um, yeah, I don't exactly know how to explain that. It, you'll see it later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, now I have most, most of it done. Yay! Um, I found out where I wanted the part to be. I had to put on a wig cap and, um, measure it, which is what I really do recommend. Um, because you don't, you don't want to mess it up. Um, and have the wrong part. And then have everything, you know, be messed up and after you put all the work into it. Um, so I don't have it all completely filled in. I recommend having a center point. Oh, my camera's getting out there. A center point, um, which is what this is right here. This little end of the purplish line. Um, and then see how all the hair curves to like go downward on the hair. Um, I recommend having the center point and then like starting from here and not doing anything on the part until you get all of the hair to go up here. Um, then put it down like go up this so don't go all the way down here go up here and stop like I don't know somewhere along the line um so go all the way around you now you can make the hair go down and stuff like at an angle and then um put it on and decide what you want to do and then style it for the most part in the back so you can see what kind of style that you can do and then see what kind of style the front what would look best with it um also as you're doing this remember to keep brushing the hair over and over and over um i remember that which is what my friend is doing can turn into this very very rough head thing um it, it may take a while, um, but it, it can turn into this. It's not that hard to do. It just takes a bit of time. But, yeah, I will um, come back in when I go all the way up. And um, so that you can't really see the hair, I'm going to show you how to do that when I get to the part. Alright, um, bye, I guess. Okay, so I pretty much have um, the top done. You can see that the glue and stuff here. Let me zoom in. You can see that the glue and stuff still looks really bad. Um, sorry, it's so shiny. Um, it's not that it looks super bad, but like you can see, super bad. But you can um, you can see the glue through the hair on the top a little bit, like where there were little missing pieces. See how that's so shiny? That's it's just glue. Um, you can see it better there. It's right, right there. Um, and right here is, like, you can see all the glue. Um, I'm going to try and show you how you can fix that. Um, what you do is you would, like, lay the glue down, like, thinly, and then lay a really thin layer of hair over it. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get this. Oh, I dropped the hot glue gun into the mass of hair. Oh, look. Wonderful. Um, let me set this down real quick. Okay. So, let's see if I can do this. Okay, so, what you do is... First of all, make sure you have glue in your glue gun. <laughs> I don't. Okay, now, you lay a thin layer of glue over it. Like this. Or 
pretty thin layer. Okay, and then you just, it doesn't have to be like perfect, but you take a little bit of hair and just lay it over. And it, it cannot be really thick because you're not patting it down, but just like sort of stick it there. Don't, don't burn yourself or anything like I'm doing, but just sort of stick it there. And it really, it can't be very thick because you can't pat it down when you pat it down it'll like the glue turns sort of white even if you're using clear glue and um pretty much just do that until it's like looks good you know, you'll have to let it dry for a while and then um yeah when i'm done i'll pro I, I could probably figure out a better way to do it and i'll show you but for now um if you want it to look good just do that um you might not be able to brush it very well, hard. You'll just have to keep doing that until it is enough to look good. Alright, I'll come back in a minute. Bye. So, it looks pretty good. Um, it's like, it's shaped to fit my head and everything. But, um, yeah, it was pretty easy to make. Oh, no, it's blurry and I can't really see. It was pretty easy to make. Um, that's what I cut off to make layers. It's a lot of extra hair. Um, I take the hat off. It's a pretty. Or if I take the entire thing off. It's a pretty um nice looking wig. It, it looks a little fuzzy, but then again, a lot of guys have the hair. Um, I could have made it thinner, but I don't know. I, I sort of like wigs to be thick. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm watching any clips. Um. Yeah, without the hat, I haven't styled it yet, so it's like, here, let me set it down. It's really fuzzy and everything, and it's, it doesn't really look all that great, but, you know, when I style it, it'll look a lot better. Um, this kind of wig, it's like, you can make the part different places, because I don't really have it specifically cut, like I could cut a little bit there. Cut upward too. And I could cut a little bit there. And then I can make it, you know, like more of a front wig. It just, you can also add two of these, this wig a lot. Um, for instance, if I wanted this to be longer, I'd just go up where there isn't a layer. And I glue longer pieces then, there, then there would be a, a shorter layer on top. Um, well, I'm gonna style it. And up here, it doesn't look too bad. I'd be wearing a hat with it most of the time, so that doesn't really matter, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, just sort of looks like I have messy hair. I'm gonna style the back and spike it a little bit, and then I'll come back and show you what I did. Okay, so I finished it. It's a little spiked. You can't see it on the camera, but, um, another thing I wanted to say. Um, really cheap hairspray is probably the best to use because it doesn't have the oils that, um, should go in your hair. Um, like this, it's, it was pretty, um... It was sort of expensive, so it probably wouldn't do very well because it's got a lot of things to treat the oils in your hair.